Hi everyone today, we're going to take a look at the 5 best camera for photography beginners on the market for this year. First we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a best camera for photography beginners. You can find timestamps and links to all the products we mention in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. One. Fujifilm X-T3 As APS-C cameras of this class go, Fujifilm's X-T30 can't quite compete with the big hitters of full frame, but it's great value for money and would suit beginners and enthusiasts well. A maximum ISO of 12,800 expands to 51,200 when pushed to keep dark scenes well exposed. The X-T30 user will also have access to the superb X-mount lens range which includes some stunning lenses with wide apertures and sharp optical quality. Take a look at the XF 50mm f 1.0 lens if you really want to let more light into the camera and make the most of every photon in a low-light situation. Its autofocus coverage is almost 100% of the frame which helps nail focus on any part of the scene. The blackout-free continuous burst shooting also offers up to 30 fps still shooting using the electronic shutter, or 8 fps with the mechanical shutter, so that you have plenty of options to choose from when shooting in low light, able to discard blurry images and keep the best. Despite being packed into a tiny body that weighs just 383g it shoots large 26.1 MP stills in 4K 30p video so it can keep up with content creators who want to make creative work for YouTube, Twitch, and other video sharing sites. 2. Nikon Z6 II Part of the issue when shooting in low light is the ability to use autofocus, which hunts and struggles when there's less light. Fortunately, the Z6 II, an original Z6, has one of the best autofocus and exposure metering systems of any camera and can autofocus in the dark down to dash 6 EV. Due to this, the camera can take advantage of its eye detection autofocus and animal detection autofocus which automatically tracks focus on subjects without any correction from the photographer. That makes it easier to get sharp portraits and pets even when indoors or outside during twilight hours. Its ISO handling is also impressive, with minimal image noise in stills photos. That's all thanks to using the same image sensor as its more expensive pro model the Z7 II but a drop in resolution which can help alleviate noise. While not quite the highest ISO range in its class it's more than capable for any kind of low-light shooting thrown at it as it reaches 51,200 natively or expands up to 204,800. Keeping shots steady in low light is tricky because longer shutter speeds must be used to gain valuable light input for images and video, but the Z6-2's 5-axis in-body image stabilization provides up to 5 stops of stabilization. This also applies to older F-mount lenses originally designed for Nikon's DSLR camera bodies, and endows lenses that don't have stabilization with up to 3-axis stabilization for steadier shots when used with the FTZ lens mount adapter. Pros. 5 stops of image stabilization in-body. Great range of Z-mount lenses perfect for low light, good value for money, especially for enthusiasts. 3. Nikon D850 A camera favored by professionals, the D850 is a real workhorse and is built to last in a variety of environments because it's fully weather sealed and made from a magnesium alloy which means it's lightweight but durable. Equally useful in the hands of an enthusiast it has a great ISO range, considering its age, and expands up to 102,400. The full-frame BSI CMOS sensor handles ISO noise well thanks to the processing ability of the XPT5 image processor. Sadly, because it's a DSLR there's no in-body image stabilization but F-mount lenses can offer up to 4.5 stops of stabilization, which Nikon calls vibration reduction, to steady shots in low light. Choose from a series of stills when shooting in continuous burst mode that captures up to 9 fps, which may not sound like much, but when you consider each image is 45.7 mp that's a serious amount of data capture. It keeps up with the competition in terms of video too by offering 4K 30p video recording with zebra stripes that help identify areas of potential exposure issues. It's also well equipped for low light video as it autofocuses down to dash 4 EV within Multisam 20K autofocus sensor module that has TTL phase detection and 153 focus points to choose from. 
On the body there's a hot shoe and PC sync connection for linking up with on and off camera lighting when low light scenes need a little extra splash of fill light. Face priority autofocus enables easier autofocusing on portrait subjects without the need to switch to manual. Reasons to buy. Huge stills resolution with excellent cropping options. Outstanding ISO range for a DSLR. Reasons TO avoid. DSLRs are being phased out. Not as good at low light focusing as its mirrorless counterpart. 4. Sony New Alpha 7S III. Released in September 2020, the Sony S7S III is an astoundingly great mirrorless camera and perfect for low-light shooting. Its main aim is to please the videographers and filmmakers who want a powerful, compact mirrorless camera that records 4K video at 120 frames per second for ultra-slow motion. Not only that but it keeps up with professional video workflows with a 16-bit RAW HDMI output while it records simultaneously in camera. It captures 12.1 MP stills photographs that are incredibly low compared to the latest mirrorless cameras, but it doesn't pretend to be a stills-oriented camera either. Though it does include 5-axis in-body image stabilization that steadies frames up to a fantastic 5.5 stops for sharper handheld low-light photos and smoother video recording. The maximum expandable ISO range of 40 to 409,600 is, quite frankly, astounding. This makes it perfect for low-light shooting as users can ramp up the ISO sensitivity, making the most of the light available without having to alter their aperture or shutter speed too much to compensate. Combine this with the A7S3's hybrid autofocusing system that can operate as low as Dash 6 EV and you have a recipe for steady, sharp shots no matter how dark it gets. Raw images and video can be pushed even further in post-production thanks to the camera's wide 15-stop dynamic range thereby capturing more detail and data in scenes with extreme contrasts and brightness, for example, a dimly lit portrait on the street next to bright street lights. Five, Panasonic Lumix S5. Great things come in small packages, and that's certainly Panasonic's thinking with the Lumix S5. A wide ISO sensitivity range topping out at 51,200 will expose even the darkest nights. A sophisticated image stabilization system built into the camera also combines with stabilization of any lens that has IS built in to produce smoother results. In movie mode some IS options disappear but e-stabilization or digital boost IS can be switched on. E-stabilization works by cropping in slightly on the picture within the sensor and electronically, digitally, moving it around to add further smoothness to shots. Boost IS works in a similar way but is much more extreme and is used to emulate a tripod shot where the camera is still while shooting handheld. Photographers that also want to capture high-resolution video footage will be pleased with the 4K 60p video capture, offering enough detail to match any competitor model out there except all but the very latest and highest-end cameras. The Lumix S5 is a great all-rounder camera doing everything from stills to videos well. The electronic viewfinder offers a good view of the scene with 2.36 million dots on the OLED display and runs at speeds of up to 120 fps with 0.005 seconds of lag. Autofocus boasts 225 area points and comes with automatic face, eye, body, and animal detection down to Dash 6 EV.